All right, guys, so reverse diet topic time. I did a post about how people need to do a reverse diet after a cutting or weight loss or diet phase. And a lot of people are like, what the heck is a reverse diet? I've never done one before. Why should I do one? So when you're maintaining your weight, you're eating um, at your maintenance level calories. So that means you are eating at your total daily energy expenditure. So the amount of food that you're bringing in is equal to the amount of calories you burn per day. That's maintenance. And when you are in a cut, a diet phase, fat loss phase, you are in a deficit eating less calories than what you need. So as you're in the deficit and your calories are going lower, 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 and lower, your metabolic rate or your metabolism is also getting lower. And so as we diet and eat less calories, we become a smaller person, we lose weight. And as we become a smaller person, our metabolism metabolisms are or our metabolic rate also get lower so when we get to the end of that fat loss phase we're a smaller person our metabolism is lower which means the amount of calories that it typically takes at, for us at that point to maintain weight is lower so let's say your maintenance calories were 2200 Maybe your dieting calories are now, um, you know, 1,700. And at the end of that phase, your maintenance calories at 2,200 really might be at 1,900 at this point. So you've been dieting down at 1,700 calories from that maintenance of 2,200. But now your metabolic rate, your metabolism no longer maintains weight at 2,200. It might, get, it might gain weight at 1,900. So what happens at the end of a diet phase, people forget to help their metabolism rebound and go back up to that 2200. So what happens is they either keep eating um, at a small or a low amount of calories like that 1700 for um, example, because they're trying to maintain that low. And then over time, they're going to start eating more. And before they know it, their 1700 calorie days might be like 2,500 calorie days when you're counting cookies and snacks and treats and bites, licks and tastes and everything here. And then they gain weight fast because now your very sensitive metabolism that just came off of a diet that maintains weight around 1,900 calories, you've started blasting 2,500 calories at it and then you gain weight back quickly and even more than you gained before. The um, answer to or solution to helping heal your metabolism and bring the metabolic rate back up um, while not staying in a deficit, which isn't good for you, and I'll do another video on that later, but if you reverse diet and bring the food up incrementally, you'll also bring your metabolism back up incrementally, getting it from like that 1900 calorie phase and start to inch it up back over 2000 and calories. So instead of abruptly ending a diet at 1,700 calories and then going to eating 2,500 calories, start reversing up slowly. So when the diet phase is over, go from 1,700 to 1,750, 1,750 to 1,800, 1,800 to 1,850 while minimizing um, weight and fat gain. And not only are you minimizing that fat and weight gain, you're raising your metabolism up so now you can maintain the loss that you already had. So you could drop down the 1,700 calories, lose 10 pounds, and then add food back up to 22, 23, 2400, and still maintain that 10 pound loss. We are a society where we just diet down real quick and then go back to eating like normal and cut out all the exercise, diet down again. And so that's where the yo-yo comes because we don't know how to reverse diet. We do not know how to go back up slowly to maintenance to bring our metabolism up. So it's not that the diet was always... Um, 
you know, something that was done wrong, we don't have a plan after a diet. You have to reverse diet to heal, protect your metabolism, and get it out of a fat loss phase. Now, how long do you reverse diet? At least the amount of time you were in a diet. So if you were dieting four months, reverse up for at least four months. If you were dieting three, reverse up for three. If you did six months, whatever, you need to reverse up to help protect your metabolic rate minimum the minimize the weight regain and minimize the fat regain so i hope that helps you guys understand what a reverse diet is and why you might need one